Hello folks, we're back with you here at our LEAF uh, PDM hacking saga. Just wanted to, firstly, I uh, want to demonstrate to you uh, just that we've worked out how to power control the charger function of the PDM. So at the minute, uh, everything's turned off. Uh, the VCU is powered on, but everything, all of the uh, power to the PDM, and the inverter and all is now controlled by the VCU. Uh, so we just got our 12 volt battery on, and I'm going to go ahead now and put this power supply on, which will get our power coming from the Land Yachts Chademo port up here to our pre-charge and into our leaf stack. So let's go ahead and do that. Now at this point, uh, what we can now do, let me get you down here, is we can switch on our uh, VCU into uh, what we call charge mode. Now this multimeter here, is measuring the 12 volt battery voltage. And this multimeter here is measuring the high voltage current. So I'm gonna go ahead, little switch. You'll hear the main contact or close. And this multimeter will go off because we're on camera. And so we see we're at 14.2 volts now because we're sending CAN uh, to control the DC to DC converter. So I'm now gonna come over here Potter the camera around a bit or to my port and I'm going to plug in my EVSE but no charging and we're not hearing our click from the PDM and the reason for that is that we're currently commanding a zero power state from the PDM if we come in on the web interface here you'll be able to see at least when I get myself a proper camera, you'll be able to see. We got zero power. So let's go ahead and ask it for some power. Go for 1,000 watts of power. I'm going to bring you folks over here. And I'll press enter. We'll hear the click. And we see that we're now pushing current about 2.7 amps uh, back into our back into the land yacht so thank you for your service land yacht you have provided power and now we can return some of that back to you and uh, if we go up here we were to change this to uh, well, let's say 1500 watts over here and press enter now, we see we go up to four amps of current. Now, what will happen here is that once I hit a power set point that is greater than the power that the uh, control pilot will allow from the EVSE, it will basically refuse to crank up the power any higher uh, than what the EVSE allows us to do. So what I can then do is I can come back to my web interface and say select zero power and we'll hear our charger switch off. Our current just goes back because we're drawing a little bit of current there just for the DC-DC converter. And when we're in charge mode now, Although the inverter is powered on, um, it will ignore uh, throttle commands because we're in charge mode. That's kind of handy. Um, okay, so let me just power this off here for a second. Yeah, so we can turn off charge mode. And then basically um, everything shuts off. We can shut off our high voltage.
Okay. Uh, just wanted to address a couple of quick things. As it's only been a few days since I posted the last video uh, that I had the PDM working, and already there's uh, quite a lot of questions going around about it, and quite a bit of misinformation also. Um, so just to be clear about what the PDM needs to run. It needs 12 volts. It needs high voltage, obviously. It needs CAN. That's it. Okay? There's no PWMs. There's no weird signals. There's no kind of... It doesn't care about things like the high voltage interlock. It doesn't care about... Um, whether you have the little LEDs for the dash wired up, it doesn't care whether you have the gong wired up, it doesn't care whether you have various relays doing stuff. Um, it just, that's what it needs, okay? 12 volts, HV, and CAN. That's it. So, I know there's been a lot of folks trying to run this thing, uh, so hopefully this will help. Software for the VCU is of course open source, uh, so you can follow the link in the description, go on to GitHub, and you can see uh, exactly what I'm doing in there. It's only about um, half a dozen CAN me messages. Uh, yes, a few of them do need to have the Nissan CRC and counters in there, but... Um, that's only for the critical ones like the BMS messages and things like that. The rest of them, I just took a, ch took a chance, put them in there as static messages. So without checksums and stuff like that and other oddball multiplexes I didn't bother with. And it's just perfectly fine. Uh, so, be super cool to hear uh, how folks get on with this. Hopefully we'll have a few more PDMs running uh, soon. So I will leave it there. Uh, this will be part three now of this series on the PDM and the Zombie Varter VCU. Uh, so I'll leave it at this so as not to drag on too much. Uh, will be updates on Patreon and the... Uh, the Patreon Discord um, quite a bit, and of course over on the Open Inverter Forum. So, as always, don't forget to dislike, do not share, do not subscribe, do not tell your friends about this crap. Um, and check those links in the descriptions for Patreon and PayPal in case you want to support me doing this stuff, but and that's kind of silly, you know, because then I'll just do more of it and make more stuff open source and things like that. And nobody wants that. So, um, we'll also be, as I say, a link in the description there to the web shop where you can buy the Zombie Vert or VCU and have all the fun at home. Uh, also links in there for the forum, GitHub, uh, Dallas EV repairs, another very good channel for leaf stuff and anything else that I can think of. So that's it. Until then. Happy PDM power controlling.